Do you know where you got the idea to have all that overlapping dialogue that you did earlier? In His Girl Friday, the dialogue was particularly adaptable to that. And I noticed that people talked and talked over one another, and especially people who talk fast and who are in a quick argument or quick description. So we wrote the dialogue in a way that left the end of the sentence so you didn't need it and the beginning of a sentence, and we just kept them overlapping. And any new actor that came in took him a couple of days to get oriented and going, but everybody put up with that, and then it worked beautifully from that time on. It's a very natural way. Oh, yeah. How I start to talk before you finish, you start to talk before I finish. And oddly enough, it becomes rather dramatic. Hilly. No. Get out of here, Duffy. I'm busy. No, 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 please stay. Look, your Duffy, this will bring us back together again, just the way we used no, to just be. That's what I'm afraid of. Any time, any place, anywhere. No, don't mock me. This is bigger than anything that ever happened to us. Don't do it for me. Do it for the paper. Scram, Svengali. Well, if you won't do it for love, how about money? Naturally, we use that because that's the way we all talk. If we were holding a discussion, you'd talk, and I'd butt in on you, and you'd butt in on me, and and. Uh, We'd hear everything that the other said, but our little trick of adding a few words in front and adding it at the end of the line makes it come out as clear as it can be. And it, to me, it sounds more like reality. I'm here! Madam, you're a cockeyed liar, and you know it! <gasps> what was that? He's in there! Give me the desk. Give me that phone. What a break. Stand back, everybody. He's not he might shoot. Gun. Get your guns out. He's harmless. Don't take any chances. Shoot right through the desk. You can't hurt anybody. You've got his gun. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, go on, you gray-haired old oh, weasel. Watch me out. Give me the desk. Out of here. 